Hey guys, so for dinner tonight we are having chicken alfredo bake and this is how it looks. Now it has a homemade alfredo sauce, it has penne pasta, grilled chicken with some cheese and pepper and all thyme, poultry seasoning, everything. Now I didn't record myself making this because it's a pretty thorough video. I don't know if I said that right. But I've actually have made a video on this on its own, which describes a step-by-step, -step, more detailed video. And I will go ahead and link it down below. That is pepper. I will link it down below as well as any other recipes I share with you on this video. I will link down all the ingredients down below. So this is what we're having for dinner tonight. It is Sunday night. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we're gonna make, be making some crock pot barbecue drumsticks. So to this crock pot, I am gonna add one white onion, which I've already sliced. And you're gonna layer it down at the bottom of your crock pot. I used about a small onion. Um, recipe does call for just one white onion. Now the onion is optional. So now if you're gonna add white onion to this crock pot meal, you want to go ahead and add a half a cup of water. The recipe calls for four pounds of chicken drumsticks. Here I have just a little bit over three pounds. Now once you've added your chicken to your crock pot, you're going to go ahead and put a lid on it and you're going to cook this on high for three hours. All right guys, so my three hours are almost up. I have about 25 minutes left for cooking time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and drain out the liquid from the crock pot. So once you've drained out the liquid, you're gonna add 18 ounces of Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. So I'm gonna put the lid back on and I'm gonna let it cook for the remainder time that I have. And in the meantime, I am gonna be working on my sides we're just going to have some store-bought macaroni and cheese and some store-bought um, mashed potatoes. Alright guys, so this is the dinner. This is the crock pot barbecue chicken. I went ahead and layered some more of that sauce on top that you'll see at the bottom of the crock pot. Um, this is just packaged mashed potatoes and then of course store-bought um, macaroni and cheese. And this is what we're going to have for dinner tonight guys. All right, guys, so for dinner tonight, we're going to be having some catfish nuggets. So first thing you want to do is marinate your catfish. So here I have one big mixing bowl. To this, I am going to add two cups of buttermilk. I'm going to add one tablespoon of hot sauce. I'm going to add one teaspoon of kosher salt and one teaspoon of ground black pepper. Let's give that a whisk to combine the ingredients. So we're gonna add our two pounds of catfish nuggets. Okay. Let's go ahead and coat that in there really good. So we're going to go ahead and cover this up and we're going to put it in the fridge for two hours to marinate. Okay guys, so to go along with our fried catfish, we're going to make a roasted potato vegetable salad. So for this you're going to need two pounds of baby red potatoes. You want to go ahead and half at least the big ones like this. You're also going to need one red bell pepper and one orange bell pepper. We're going to go ahead and Put those up. We're going to dice them. And now to this we're going to add some seasonings. So to this we're going to add half a teaspoon of ground cumin. We're going to add a quarter teaspoon of chili powder. And then you're going to add one tablespoon of kosher salt. And one teaspoon of pepper. Okay, so now you're going to add some olive oil to this. Probably about two tablespoons, just enough to get it fully coated. Okay. 
Now let's go ahead and mix that. So now you want to grab a baking sheet. You want to line it with some foil. And what I like to do, even though I coated it in oil, even though I coat the vegetables in oil, I still like to spray my foil. And now we're going to add our veggies to this. So now off to the side over here, I'm going to be placing my corn. I am using frozen corn and I went ahead and wrapped them into some foil and I'm going to place them here to the side. I did three. The recipe calls for one whole corn on the cob, so I figured three little ear corns. So we're going to place this in the oven. I've already preheated my oven to 400 degrees. I did not add any seasonings to the corn. I just wrapped it in the foil. And now we're going to place this into the oven. So we're going to put it in the oven for 30 minutes. Okay, so now we're going to work on our dredging mix. So you want to grab a bowl. And to this, you're going to add a cup and a half of yellow cornmeal mix. So I have a cup there and half a cup here. You're going to add a quarter cup of all-purpose flour. And then you're going to add one tablespoon of kosher salt and one teaspoon of ground black pepper. And then you're also going to add half a teaspoon of paprika and half a teaspoon of garlic powder. You're going to go ahead and whisk that together. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start cooking our catfish. So you want to grab a large pot or a Dutch oven if you have one. I'm going to go ahead and use my cast iron skillet. So we're going to pour some vegetable oil. So you want to go ahead and heat this up over medium until the oil reaches 350 degrees. So here I have my catfish that I've had marinating. I actually let it marinate a little bit longer, probably like four or five hours. So then I have my dredge mix here, my oils have met its temperature, and then back here I have a foil lined baking sheet. I put a paper towel on it, and I always like to place it on top of one of my cookie sheets. And that's just how I do it whenever I fry something. You want to add your fish to the mix. You want to knock off some of the excess um, coating and place it in your pan. These are going to cook maybe five or six minutes. That's total time until they're nice and crispy. To look nice golden brown and crispy. Hey Google, set a timer for three minutes. While this is frying up, my 30 minutes are coming up on my vegetables. So I'm going to Take them out of the oven and I'm going to remove the corn, toss the vegetables and put it back in the oven for another 30 minutes. So now we're going to flip our catfish. You want to do about 3 minutes on each side, a total time of 6 minutes. I am on my last batch of catfish nuggets. I've been placing them back here and once I take them out of the frying pan, I put them on here and I sprinkle some salt on it. I'm going to take out my vegetables, which are really nicely toasted. Let's go ahead and just mix it up. And now that corn that I cooked, I went ahead and cut them up into little niblet sizes. We're going to go ahead and add that to there. So I'm going to continue cooking my last batch and I'm going to show you how it looks all put together. Alright guys, so here it is. This is dinner. Here is the roasted potato, or here's the roasted potato vegetable salad. So you see how I incorporated the corn. I tossed it and added some parsley. Um, my husband likes to have it with tartar sauce. This is just store-bought Louisiana tartar sauce. And then here's the catfish and a lemon wedge. And this is what we're going to have for dinner tonight, guys.